today, ABC Action News filming two new segments for the Morning Blend at the Tight Medical Center. We're going to be talking about some great subjects, especially with summer coming along with weight loss, blood work, and much, much more. So come on, join us, see some of the behind the scenes of us taping these segments, and you guys will be the first to see it once it launches on ABC Action News. And if you don't get to see that live, don't worry, we'll have the video we'll post on social media so you guys get to see all the great info and all the great things that we're doing here at ABC Action News. So come along and let's go uh, find Sharice. I think she's getting her makeup done right now. So we'll watch her getting all pretty, and then at that point you guys will get to see all the magic as it happens. So come along and join me. Like I promised guys, some behind the scenes footage here at ABC Action News. And of course, I got my beautiful wife over here getting a little touch up action, even though she doesn't need it. Uh, by our good friend and awesome makeup artist extraordinaire, Julie Buck. So that's a wrap. Me and my wife Sharice here just got done finishing up our morning blend segments here at ABC Action News. We love it here, we love coming in the studio, um, being able to, you know, express our message and send it out to those great people out there that really can benefit from it and change their quality of life and change their lifestyle into a healthy one. That's what Type Medical Center is all about. So it's really, really uh, humbling to be in here, to be able to do this. Uh, we had a great time as always. Always right, a good time, always a good time with with my lovely husband over yeah, here. You know, so we talked he always, about some really good ones. Well, he, really good he's, he does this all the time. So he's, he's on it, always on it. So I, I, I love that. And I can just bounce off of them, makes it easy for me. <laughs> so you guys want to definitely check out these segments. If you guys don't get to watch it live on ABC Action News, The Morning Blend, you can DVR it, or you guys can go to our social media platforms, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and I promise you get to see these segments for yourself. And you definitely want to tune into them. We talk about semi-glutide, we talk about blood work, and a lot of other information you guys will benefit from. So make sure you guys are tuning in to our social medias or to ABC Action News and watching The Morning Blend for yourself. See you then. Hi, how are you guys doing? My name is John Sikoris and I am the owner of Tight Medical Center. I'm here to talk to you about the importance of having healthy testosterone levels and why they matter for both men and women. First, a little bit about me. So I've been in the medical business with Tight Medical Center for over 10 and a half years and prior experience to that. Um, I have an equal amount of experience with time in researching a lot of these medications and cutting edge therapies for our patients or for me, right? I want to be just like you guys. I want to live a long life. I want to feel good that long life. I want to perform my best, look my best, and feel my best because that's what it's all about. We're on this earth for a short amount of time, right? Even if we're 90 years old. So we got to take advantage of every single minute and every single day. Why is it important to have healthy testosterone levels? It's simple, right? We want to have better overall health and improve quality of life. Today we're gonna go over five effects that testosterone may be causing you some problems with if it's low. So let's talk about some of these different effects. One, low energy. I'm sure we've all been there when we don't feel that much energy and we feel pretty much down when we get up in the morning. This could be because you have a long night at night before or you're just not getting proper rest or you might have low testosterone. So at this point, low energy is one flag. Two, low libido. So you just don't have the desire to be with your partner. You wanna be, but you know what? You're just not thinking about it, it's not coming up. And at that point, you are unconfident in your bedroom game. That's where low libido happens, right? Three, decreased muscle mass. So as we get older, we lose muscle fibers. We will start to shrink down. If our hormones are not optimized, and specifically testosterone on this occasion, then we will start losing muscle over time and we'll start getting smaller. That's why you start seeing those old little cute people, right? They're getting older, they get cuter, but they're not getting any bigger. They're getting smaller. And this is why, because of hormone deficiencies. Four, retaining body fat. Now, I'm sure if you're getting older, you know what this is all about here. Slowing the metabolism down, right? Your body's not working like it used to. Hormones are starting to become deficient. Insulin resistance could happen. All these different things could make you retain body fat. If estrogen levels are high, this could also make you retain body fat and create body fat for you. Number five, so irritability, 
that old grumpy man syndrome, that's all because of low testosterone. Or there could be some other hormones that are imbalanced. But this is a main factor of mood, right? If we feel good, we usually feel good in all the ways, right? We have a good mood, we have a good attitude, everything is going good. But if we don't feel good and we're tired and all this stuff, we could become irritable. Or like I said, the grumpy old man syndrome. As we get older, decline in testosterone and other hormones will create these mood issues. And there's much, much more that goes along with it. So we're just getting on five today. We'll come at you guys with more here in the future. So I just want all you guys to know out there that all of our therapies here at Type Medical Center come from US licensed pharmacies. And you're always gonna see a medical professional, right? A medical provider. They're always gonna be here for you. They're always in-house and available to our other patients that are not able to come here. So at that point, we will make sure that we take care of you guys. We're always here for your support, 24 seven, call, text, email. We're gonna be there to help guide you through the process so you can feel your best. Make sure you call Titan Medical Center or text us at 727-389-3220 and we will get you titanized, feeling good, looking good, and performing your very best. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the all notification bell. If you guys like some of the content I'm talking about, I've got a lot more cool content coming at you guys. So please hit the subscribe button so you get all this great knowledge and all this cool content. What's up guys, John here from Titan and today I want to talk to you about some of the different transportation methods that you can get your Titan therapies in. And in particular, I want to talk about sublingual trochees. So when we talk about Titan therapies, you can see them come in a number of different ways. From creams, to sublingual trochees, to injectables, even nasal sprays. But particularly, I get asked about trochees. John, are trochees good? Are they going to work? Yes, sublingual trochees will work and they will get absorbed into the body. Are they going to be as good as an injection? Probably not, but they're probably going to be more superior to a cream that you're going to rub on your skin and you might possibly have a loved one touch and that might get absorbed by them or one of your fur babies that might get the exact same medication rubbed on them too as well. So with sublingual, you don't have any needles, no problems there, and you can take this wherever you're at right? If you're on a plane, you can take it. If you're walking around a park, you can take it. If you're on the go in your car, you can take it. It's pretty easy and pretty simple to do. And all you have to do is put this underneath your tongue and it's going to absorb sublingually into the body. And like I said, it's probably the second best transportation rate you're going to get for your Titan therapies. And these trochees can have pretty much any Titan therapy that we do. And you guys can get it sublingually. So if you have more questions about trochees, and getting your tight therapy in a trochee possibly, then call or text us, 727-389-3220. Check out the website, tightmetalcenter.com, and I'll be back with more videos, helping you guys out, learning and knowing how these tight therapies can help you out better. Thanks, guys.
Are you not performing in the bedroom like you like or you want to? Do you want more satisfaction and pleasure for you and your partner? If you said yes to either one of these things, then you need to contact us here at Titan Medical Center. We have bedroom relationship enhancing therapies that will ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new level in the bedroom, making you a superhero to your partner too as well. And who doesn't want to perform like a superhero, right? I do, and I'm sure your partner is going to want you to too. So at that point, call or text us today, 727-389-3220, and we'll put you on a personal regimen to make sure that you are the superhero in the bedroom and taking your relationship to a whole new level. My name's uh, Steve Morin. I'm a 38-year-old Army combat vet. I like to uh, work out, go on hikes, uh, spend all the time I can with my son, try to do things with youth athletics and other veterans, bringing them to train and also talk after training periods. Actually, I found out about Titan and uh, I was living in Cape Coral, Florida, and Dave Palumbo was at the gym that I worked out at. Um, and I heard him talking to other people and he came up to us and told us about Titan. And without a hesitation, I went into did some research and found nothing but great things about it. Called up and became family instantly with them. Uh, Titan's helped me amazingly. Um, with a brain injury, I found that taking testosterone replacement therapy really brings out the cognitive brain function also bringing me up to a physical peak um, to where I need to push myself to every single day to have that full recovery and the go-getting that I need to do to, to survive day to day. So I used it to really help me get back on, on track. You know, I'm a single father, so it was like I needed something and I wasn't going to go the other routes with all the pills and this and that. It's like I'll try every therapy possible before those types of medications. And TRTs saved my life. Our levels, especially being, you know, in your mid 20s, early 30s, your levels are at, are at the highest. But when you get and you stay on those levels, and when, like when I came back and got, you know, with the brain injury and everything, my levels were going down. So like my baseline was was nothing. So being on TRT kind of got me back to that baseline, and then some. I knew you know about it before, obviously in the military and stuff like that, because it's it's one of those things where you want to do it to the left and right, you be at their best. And that's nothing but, you know, the natural ability. You bring them to their levels where they're supposed to be, you know, you're good to go. And that's how I've always been. So, so I got into, like, that research with it and then started doing it. And uh, just saw so much and was like, all right. And with these guys, Titan, they, you know, you get your lab done. You're always, they keep you up to date with it. So there's no, for me, there's no, like, anxiety of how my blood work is. Is this going, blah, blah. You take every like all that stress away from me just to kind of live and, and do my life because you know? it helps so i got four buddies that do it right now and we all were in some low places so with trt keeping a gallon of water a day is nothing it's not it's it's so normal and that's what i tell people it's like they have a headache and this and like you're drinking enough water let's start with that and bring yourself up and trt opens the door for everything else I, for me personally um with eating right the sleep that I get. I never had nightmares or nothing like that, but being on TRT, I actually wake up and feel rested. You know, I can sleep and be like, I feel good, versus that constant up and down, wake, go to sleep, awake, you know what I mean, all night long? TRT gives me that, a good baseline for everything. It has, and that's why my new thing is, it's helped me so much, because before, like, I have social anxiety. So my doctors never believe I could do this, nothing like that. Um, and taking this and I'm, what I'm trying to do now is get veterans to train in the gym, whether it's CrossFit, powerlifting, just anything, stretch, but come there, you're gonna be with a bunch of other veterans and we can either talk during those exercises because sometimes you're in a gym with your, your buddy, shit gets kind of deep and you guys can really open up to each other. So it's the same thing, we can either do it before or um, after the workout or during it. And then you get like that little veteran meeting and you know, it will blow some steam off, get things to other people and at the same time, you're helping your body. You're physically taking that next step every day to get better and better. With my injury, when I first found out my brain injury, I was 253 pounds when I got out. I was pretty big. And I lost over 100 of it in less than eight months. Um, my mom was a director at two hospitals down Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda. All the doctors were trying to figure everything out. Taking blood, just trying to figure it out. It was all up here. So I would... Um, you know, I wouldn't eat, and I, it's not like I wouldn't try to think about it. I just never thought about eating and stuff like that. I'd go all day long. I was doing that fasting before it was cool. Um, so the MK677 really actually, 
the VA is giving me stuff for appetite and nothing comes close. This was actually, oh man, like I actually ate, but I was holding it on. You know, I wasn't losing my weight. I was actually holding it on and I, it was two pills a day, a pill a day or something like that. In about two weeks of taking it, I felt the difference. Yeah, especially in the gym. I was like, yeah. Glutathione was amazing. It was a month long therapy and that month was amazing. Um, that got me back to knowing what feeling my body feeling good is again. Um, healthy, it was, it was great. Five, six years ago, that's why when I heard you guys had it, I was like, it's like literally that you take it and you're like, wow. And then by three, four days, you're like, I'm thinking to myself, is this normal? Is like this what healthy feels like now? Um, I felt clean. I felt, yeah, the stuff. And that's why I tell people like, whole food and a lot of water, get your supplementation, like you know your hormone level check. And you'll be good to go. Oh, definitely, definitely. If you're trying to up your game, get to optimum levels, Titan's definitely the way to go. Um, it's bringing you back up to making you feel and know what good is again. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. This is Memorial Day edition, yeah. all right? So, you know, Memorial Day is going to be tomorrow, if you guys have seen this on Sunday. Um, and at that point, like, it's a big, big weekend, right? And every week, we like to come to you guys with tips, tricks, and things that will enhance your life, your relationship, and the loved ones around you, hopefully. So, uh, this week, Memorial Day edition, because it's tomorrow. Um, now, Memorial Day is a, a long weekend. Right? Everybody gets Memorial Day off, right? Everybody usually Mostly. does. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't really think too many places are open Memorial Day, like, really. We I aren't, mean, by the way. <laughs> you know, you know, it's 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 a national holiday as far as that goes. And, and you know, we're, we're thanking, you know, our soldiers and stuff like that. We're memorializing them. Um, so that's a big thing I think a lot of people miss out on, first off. So we want to give big thanks to those, you know, our, our, our active members, you know, out there, our retired members, and people that have given their life for our country, our freedoms, in this great place we call the United States. I think a lot of people forget that too. So yeah. I want to give a big shout out to all those people. And, uh, you know, the next thing is, is what do you guys do on your Memorial Day weekend? You know, what does Memorial Day weekend like, consist of? Do you guys have traditions out there? Do you not have traditions? Us Florida people do the beach. Yeah, I mean, a lot of Florida people do the beach, barbecue, <laughs> it's a beach and barbecue stuff like that. Day, Pool you know, day, a weekend, you know. You know, and you know, it, May, you know, the end of May is when Memorial Day usually happens. So, you know, it's starting to warm up a lot of different places, and depending on where you guys are living. But here in Florida, let's just talk about it. You know, it's it's warm here most of the time of year, mm -hmm. but in May it starts getting you know really really warm, 90s and stuff like that. Now, Memorial Day, if you have a family especially, you know, it's good to start really traditions. Like, our tradition is, for our family is... The Pink Hotel! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we go down to St. Pete Beach, the dances are, if you guys know. It's called the Pink Hotel. Like, our son, like, who's big and pink, right? <laughs> really so, big like, and pink. you know, he'll be like, oh, the Pink Hotel. Like, that's what he used to say as a kid, and we just, you know, adopt it. You know, we're going down to the Pink Hotel. <laughs> you know, and uh, we do it every year. So, every year we go down there. We spend the whole weekend down there. Um, just rest, relax, you know, have good family time, quality time by the pool. You know, we'll go out to the beach, you know, hang out in the water out there, you know, maybe throw the football around, just really enjoying each other's time out yeah. there. I think it's really important for families especially to take that time because with everything going on today in today's life, you know, usually, you know, both parents are having to work all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, school is just getting out. You know, for a lot of different you know, kids around the country. So that school time is not going to be there. And, mm -hmm. you know, with the weekend and the, the, the Memorial Day on Monday, you get that time, right? And that time, listen, time is valuable. It's priceless. You'll never get it back, mm -hmm. no matter what. And you never know how much time you got on this earth. 
So that yeah. point tomorrow's you, never promised. Tomorrow's never promised. You know, next hour is not promised. You yeah. know, what I mean, you could be in a car and get hit and be dead. <sighs> you know, it just things happen like that. You know, and you. You can't plan that because if you had a crystal ball and you knew all these different things, you'd probably make a lot more different decisions that if you I had a crystal like. ball and I knew these things, I'd be on an island sipping on a pina colada. <laughs> One of those big <laughs> private islands, right? Yeah. Like, like Where Bill, nobody Bill else Gates was Bill wife owns or something like that. Like something crazy. I'd just run around and scream for hours. <laughs> <laughs> scream about nothing. Just, ah! You know? I mean, so it's a big, big thing, you know? So, I mean... You know, it's it's essential that you, you spend time with your family. But, you know, maybe making a tradition for this weekend. And traditions start have to start somewhere. So mm-hmm. even if you've never done anything before, even if you don't have a family and you have, like, a girlfriend or a fiancé or you're by yourself, you can make a tradition yourself, right? You can say, listen, every year I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, go to this certain hotel or go to the beach and, and do this, you know, certain tradition. Or go get, maybe if you're by yourself, you can go get a massage. Yeah. Go day at the spa. Absolutely. Something like that, like to treat yourself. Yeah, we forget about self care sometimes. Yeah, because I think, we're so busy. Yeah. But I, you know, I think a lot of people do. They're, they're all about you know appeasing everybody else around them or yeah. taking care of you know things around them, whether it's their family, their kids, you know, their, their parents, if they're old and stuff like that. And just is what it is. And like it's a lot of times, like people don't invest in themselves, yeah. and that's you know where the problem lies sometimes because that's when health starts breaking down or. You know, you start feeling a certain type of way, like, oh, man, I have no time to myself. I don't get to do anything. And this is a weekend to do that, yeah. right? Because you have really nothing else to do. Unless you're, you know, working a job that you have to work. And there right. are some people that do that. Maybe some nurses and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, in the yeah. hospitals and stuff like that. Yeah. If you're one Big of the, ups to you guys. If you're, if you're one of those new nurses, you're probably working those shifts. You are definitely working that shift. <laughs> Even the medical provider. So at that you point, definitely working that usually, shift. you know, if you don't have the seniority there and you're just getting in, your butt is working. And you're yeah. like, damn, everybody's out having a good old time. They're on the beach. Or you just know? remember, if they say they're going to cover your college, that you're probably going to work those shifts too. So oh, just remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I turned that one down. I'm like, uh-uh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll just pay full. Yep, yep. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's just good, especially, you know, going out there and being active. That's another thing. Not just sitting on the couch all weekend and watching TV. You know, get out, be active, do something. And you can be active indoors if it's cold where you're at still. Mm -hmm. But like I said, a lot of places are starting to warm up. So at that point, go outside, be active, get some sunshine, right? And uh, enjoy the family or your loved one, whatever it is. You know, I I think, like I said, a lot of people take that for granted. A lot of people take their time for granted Mm -hmm. um, and don't think about the value, how, how valuable that time is. You know, so and that's really it. I mean, at that point, we just want to give a big shout out to Memorial Day weekend yeah. out there. We have a blast, though. I yes. mean, I will say that much. You know, we go and it's a couple of days and we stay there. I do still work on the Thursday, Friday, you know, window because I have to work. <laughs> I don't have a choice, but I will on Fridays, you know, I'll put the, the computer away and just spend time with Peter, you know, and with John and just hang out, just get a tan, try to enjoy it, play a little bit of music, get in the pool. We throw the football. That is the best ever. That's Sun right. bum, you guys make the That's best right. football out there. <laughs> <laughs> I get those spirals all day on that thing. And the best sunscreen. Yes, thank big you, Sun, sun bum. bum. Yeah, big, big shot to Sun bum. <laughs> so, you know, and we just do nothing you know go on the beach maybe feel a little bit of the water when we go back up to the hotel room we'll just go back up there we order food we veg out just watch movies on netflix yep. and it's just us like so you know we make peter come in he'll like it, we, he was never able to sleep in our bed as a kid but yeah. we'll have him like hey, come on our bed come 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 yeah. and then we'll like you know veg out with pizza and you know because it's a hotel, so I don't care about their sheets. Yeah. I care about my sheets. So you ain't eating in my bed. But when you go to the hotel, you can eat in their bed. <laughs> but this is the time to do that. That's what yeah. I'm saying, you know, yeah. and just enjoy time with each other, you know, because yeah. you just, you can't, you can't get that time back once and, it's gone. And last Memorial Day weekend, we were going through COVID. So a lot of the restrictions were there. You couldn't do anything, couldn't travel. You know, a lot of these hotels that were really weird about things and stuff like that, even by the pool decks, mm-hmm. you know, how much space you could have. Like here, I don't even think the pools were open at that point in time in May. Or yeah. They were just opening up or something like that and yeah. in Florida. And a lot of the other states, that was not going on. So at that point, listen, we're open. Enjoy this, you know, I don't want to say COVID-free, but uh, un-COVID Memorial Day weekend, you know, at that point, And let's try to get back to some normalcy. Mm-hmm. And Memorial Day is a big travel weekend for a lot of different people. Whether you're going to see family or you're staying in your same state, go out, 
have fun, be active, and enjoy your life and time here on Earth, man. That's, I think a lot of people, they just, like I said, they don't, they, for, they forget about it, they think too far ahead, and I'm one to think about far ahead in this future, but sometimes you do gotta live in the moment, and you gotta take advantage of that moment, so. I think that's it. Go enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Get some sun right? bum. We appreciate it. Get some sun bum. Make sure you protect your skin. We don't want you guys getting skin cancer out there. Those of you that don't want to get too tan, that's yeah. me. Or fried, <laughs> whatever fried. it is. You know? Face fried. It, it is what it is. So go enjoy yourself. Have a great time. Enjoy the loved ones around you. And really take in that moment and enjoy that moment. Something you can remember for the rest of your life. A lot of people can take a lot of things from you, but they can never take your memories. All yeah. right? So we're going to leave it at that. Thank you for joining us for another Cupid's Corner. We'll be here every Sunday for you guys on ABC 11 a.m. And don't worry, if you guys missed this, you guys can always DVR it or check out our social media pages. YouTube, just type in Tight Medical Center. All the shows are on there. Or our Instagram and Facebook, Tight Medical Center. You guys can check those out too. We appreciate you guys showing us a lot of love, a lot of support every week, day in and day out. Thank you guys very much, and we'll see you next week. See you then. Bye, guys. <laughs>